गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फैमिलियर विद जॉनसन काउंटर इट इज द शिफ्ट रजिस्टर काउंटर टाइप जॉनसन काउंटर प्रोवाइडिंग फीडबैक फ्रॉम द इन्वर्टेड आउटपुट ऑफ लास्ट फ्लिप लॉप दैट इज क्यू बार ऑफ द फ्लिप लॉप आउटपुट टू डी इनपुट ऑफ द फर्स्ट फ्लिप लॉप द क्यू आउटपुट ऑफ ईच फ्लिप लॉप is connected to the d input to next flip flop but q bar of last flip flop is connected to d input of first flip flop so it is called also twisted ring counter or johnson counter this type of feedback produce a unique sequence of state that not happened in ring counter okay what is the basic difference between the ring counter and the johnson counter is the uh feedback loop feedback input from the last flip flop provided to input of the first flip flop in the ring counter we uh, use the feedback that is the q or normal output of the last flip flop to the input of first flip flop but in case of johnson counter we used q bar that is inverted output of the last flip flop to use as a feedback to the input of first flip flop due to this produce a unique sequence of a counter okay next start with example it is 4 bit johnson counter we use the d flip flop it is pulling the input as the output we feed one input that output is 1 0 input as it pulling output at the output port d 4 bit stream uh, it is used flip flop is n bit so n is 4 so number of flip flops are required for the johnson counter for 4 bit is 4 flip flop so we use d flip flop number 1 2 3 and 4 that is an uh, nominate is d0 d1 d2 and d3 okay with the output q0 that is the normal output and q0 bar that is the inverted output it is the synchronous type counter so we used clock at the same time to all the flip flop see here that is the negative trigger is clock pulse to given all the flip flops at a same time or simultaneous okay this is q bar of the last flip flop that is the inverted output of last flip flop is feedback from this loop to the input of first flip flop that is d0 as the first input of the first flip flop okay and the output of first flip flop is connected to input to next flip flop that is flip flop that is d1 and the output of d1 that is q1 normal output is connected to input as next flip flop that is d2 and the output of d2 that is q2 is normal output is connected as a input of d3 and the output of d3 that is q bar not q3 q3 is normal output but in this case that is johnson counter we used q bar that is the inverted output to feedback to the input of first flip flop okay uh, this type of feedback produce a unique sequence of states or modes that how many states are counted by this counter johnson counter is counted the number of states is 2n n is number of bits in this example we used 4 bit so this counter is used or uh, used or sequence of state is 2 into 4 that is 8 it means it count from 0 to 7 that is 8 different states let's start let's assume all the flip flops are initially in their states as we tag d0 output is 1 d1 is 0 and d2 is 0 and d3 is also 0 it means first flip flop is set and rest of three flip flops are reset condition okay let's start 1 0 0 0 that is the output of first flip flop output of second flip flop output of three flip flop and output of fourth flip flop okay what happen when first in the first clock pulse is this 
we already uh, set the output of like this uh, set output of all the flip flops in the second row calls here in the second row calls we get first flip flop is d0 okay is this one is d0 q3 is d0 but q3 bar is one okay it is that is bar so it is just opposite to this output it is zero so q3 is one one is feedback by the feedback loop to the input of first flip flop so first flip flop input is in the second flip pulse is one and this one input is pulling to output that is q0 clear so it is q0 is uh, shifted here okay so one second is one one zero zero because this one is also input of d0 and it is shift because it is a shift register so it shift to next position so one one zero zero in the third uh, clock pulse it is zero also it is one so it is also shifted to one point that is one 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 and zero in the fourth it is one 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 and it also one in the fifth it is one so q3 is zero so zero feedback to input of d0 this means zero one 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 and the next clock pulse that is a six clock pulse also it is one so q3 bar is Zero. Zero is fit to first flip flop and first flip flop is to D1. So zero, zero and this is one, one. Remaining seven, we apply the same process that is zero, 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 one. And in the eighth condition, we get zero, zero, zero and one. So after add plus, we get its repeat itself like this waveform. Okay, the most important thing of this counter is number of unique states that is 2n. In case of ring counter, number of states are n instead of 2n. So, there each state frequency is equivalent to total frequency ft that is total frequency divided by n. But in case of Johnson counter or twisted ring counter, the each stage frequency is equal to total frequency that is Ft equal divided by 2n that is the number of state in the Johnson counter. So it is called divided by 8 circuit. This is 4 bit Johnson counter 2n. n is 4 so it is 8. So it is called F upon 8 or it is called F divided by 8 that is divided by 8 circuit. Students also learn the advantage of ring counter as well as the Johnson counter. Also application of counter such as frequency measurement, time measurement, electric organs, rhythm generators, atomic clocks and many more application from the, our book many more examples are there from the counters chapter i have shared many more uh, videos for the counter basic start for asynchronous counter there's two bit asynchronous counter for up and down 4 bit asynchronous counter also for up down, up counter as well as down counter after that we are familiar with synchronous counter and synchronous counter is also up counter and as well as down counter and we selected mode for up and down in a common circuit and after that we are familiar with very special counter such as shift register counter they are work as a shift register shift register are stored and transfer the data as well as left shift and the right shift serial or parallel output in this counter shift register counter we have two types 
depending on the feedback from output of last flip flop to input of first flip flop. So it is count number of state either in sequence or not. In the ring counter, first one is ring counter, the output that is the normal output of last flip flop that is Q is connected to feedback loop to the first flip flop. So it is the ring counter and in the second case Johnson counter or tip state counter because it used Q bar that is inverted output of the last flip flop is connected to first flip flop so it is called twisted or Johnson counter. Here important is the each state frequency for the asynchronous counter, uh, synchronous counter that is the ring counter and the Johnson counter. Asynchronous counter, the each state frequency is equivalent to total frequency is divided by to keep our n. n is number of bits. In case of ring counter, we have each state frequency is equivalent to ft that is total frequency is divided by n. n is number of bits are used in this counter. And finally, the frequency each state frequency of uh, Johnson counter or twisted counter is equivalent to total frequency ft is divided by 2n because in Johnson counter we have the states or modes is 2n and is number of bits. So students go through many more examples for uh, your counters as well as important is very important is frequency calculation each state frequency calculation for asynchronous counter ring counter and the Johnson counter these is where these questions is repeat in RTO examination as well as your gate and other competitive exams okay thank you